Hi, this is Ale Brijes in Ojalata with Mrs. Orendorf. In this lesson, we are combining Ale Brijes and Ojalata, which are both folk art from Mexico. Ale Brijes are mythical creatures who started with the folk artist Pedro Linares in the 1930s. Today, Mexico does beautiful parades of large paper mache alebrijes that decorate the streets and people enjoy them with their families. Ojalata is a traditional folk art in Mexico, which is like a repousse or embossing on aluminum foil. These works of art are found in marketplaces and you can buy all different kinds from picture frames and lanterns. And nowadays we are going to be making your own. For this project, you are going to need a piece of paper to dry your alebrije and a piece to match that size of aluminum foil. Later, we can worry about the edges. We're gonna fold them in to make them a little bit smoother. You will also need some press molds if you have them, or uh, you can use rubbing screens as well. Something to give you texture for the background if that's what you choose to do. And I have these scratch tools uh, that I use to push into the aluminum. If you don't have any, a regular popsicle stick or a skewer, um, you can cut them shorter. You can get a lot of these for a couple of dollars at the grocery store. That works too. Or a blunt regular uh, wooden pencil. You also need some fabric to work on because you need to work on a soft surface so that the aluminum goes in as you are pushing on it. Here I have other examples that I have done in the past. This is one of my favorite techniques and I am ex excited to teach you about this because it's part of my culture. We are combining two different types of Mexican art. Um, in Mexico, they call all these beautiful creations with aluminum, ojalata and um, there, it's a universal type of technique that travels throughout the world. Um, here it's called embossing and um, in a French term it's called repousse. So it transcends different cultures but it's a wonderful technique. Okay, let's get started. So the alabrije that I am making is a part chihuahua this is my long hair chihuahua, she passed away, and um, she's gonna have butterfly wings and antennas. So I drew my design on my six by six paper. I taped it at the top so that I can flip it as I go. As you see, I started uh, pressing on it. So with a pencil, and it doesn't have to be super sharp because you don't wanna tear through the, um, paper or have um, fine lines, very, very skinny lines. You want your lines a little bit on the thicker side. So I'm going to trace right on top of my drawing and you just keep going until you are finished. So I'm pressing a little bit hard and notice that I'm working on the soft fabric. If you don't have fabric, you can also work on top of newspaper or several sheets of paper. Something soft that will go in as you are pushing into the metal. And I think I got it all. All right, so now it's time to push into it with one of my tools. You are going to push a little bit harder and this is making the aluminum go in. If you want things to pop forward, you need to press on them from the back side. So if I want my antenna lines to pop forward, 
I'm going to push on them from here. And if I want that little end of the antenna to pop forward, I'm going to press right here. It's better to press a few times with medium strength. You don't wanna press super hard and tear through your aluminum. Okay, and if you can tell, they are being raised. Now, to make them stay extra raised, uh, to make it a little bit um, more defined, you can go right on the edge of that raised line or shape and press a little on the edges of that. That's going to make it stand out very nicely. On the hair, if you want the hair to pop forward, for example, here, um, on the chest, just turn it over and make your lines pop forward. You can even play with some popping uh, one way, one popping the other, um, and have fun. Take your time, okay? Oh, she's getting pretty. Now we are ready for the background. I'm going to use a little bit of both of the rubbing screens so you can see the little embossing um, screens. And, and for this one, I'm gonna use just a skinny popsicle stick. And I'm going to hold it in place and then press in and all those beautiful little patterns will start to show. Just make sure that you don't do, you don't press over your animal's body because that's gonna have a, a different pattern. You're gonna do your alabrija designs on that area. Now, if you don't have a rubbing screen or anything to give you a nice design, you can always make one from scratch, like I did here. Here I did these scales. These are very pretty. Or you can also do a beautiful design just by scratching. Well, let's say I want a little flower here. Okay, I'm gonna do the center. If I want part of it raised up, what do we do? We flip it over. I finished pressing all my beautiful designs onto my aluminum, and now I'm ready for color. For this part, you can go ahead and take your paper off because it's easier to see where the line is, uh, where you intended for um, each of your little designs, etc. Place it side by side and go ahead and start um, outlining, adding your colors, etc. Now remember, Alebrijes from Mexico, they are colored very intricately, very carefully. Look at all these designs, all the fine detail. Uh, dots are very prominent. Uh, polka dots and little designs are uh, very traditional. All the zigzag lines. There's a little flower detail on the back of this. Oh, and some vines on the back of this armadillo. Okay, this is very nice. So think about all the different stuff you can do to your alebrije. I'm going to start with a very basic color. I love pink and my chihuahua was a very, very girly. So I'm going to add color to my skin first and then I'm going to let it dry. Okay, we're letting that dry. And then, for example, if I wanted to make something like this where the armadillo is pink and then um, there's other little designs on it, for example, green, and then there's like a purple, um, you could try it something like that. Okay, let's see what the blue does on it. I think I see a flower. Oh, how pretty, look at that. So I'm just gonna make a small flower there 
Ta-da! Ooh, the blue on the purple looks really, really cool. I am going to leave the background mostly silver on purpose so that my alebrije can stand out from the background. I love leaving part of the raw material showing so that you kind of show your process um, in the end. I've colored as much as I could on my alebrije. I added color just to the animal and the details and I'm leaving the background simple in silver. If you want to add any other colors, you can, I would suggest adding just a little hint of color, but mainly making your alebrije be the main focal point of your project. I hope you enjoy this. Alebrijes are fun and they are a beautiful way to express your imagination. Have fun guys!